The Super Bowl is never the biggest night in fashion, but you always notice when people fail to meet the moment. At Super Bowl 58, there were good looks, there were bad looks, and then there were these looks from celebrities that were seriously off their game. Travis Kelsey needs no introduction as one of the most famous people at the game, so it's only fair that, as his girlfriend would say, he made the whole place shimmer when he walked into the stadium. Yet this head-to-toe black and sparkling silver suit with layered necklaces was just a bit over the top. Of course, Kelsey spent most of the game in his red and white Chiefs uniform, so for most of the game he looked fine. Angry, but fine. Still, some of his teammates looked a bit more dapper and modest in sleeker suits when they arrived, making him stand out in a bad way. Before the big game began, Gwen Stefani took the stage to perform Purple Irises with her husband Blake Shelton. We can't imagine how Stefani could have packed more unique elements into one outfit, and frankly, it had our heads spinning. She wore big platform boots, color-blocked pants with thigh-high slits, a striped crop top, a buckle belt, and a fishnet bodysuit layered under everything. Oh, and there was also plenty of fringe to go around, too. But while the outfit was confusing, the performance, at least, was on point. Reba McIntyre certainly had star power when she performed the national anthem to kick off Super Bowl 58. Her look, though, did not. Her busy, bedazzled pants paired with a beige jacket and massive belt buckle made it look like she rifled through the back of her closet and threw on whatever she could find. And the big gray werewolf-style coat she wore over it when walking in just reinforced the randomness of this game day getup. Claire Kittle was basically the San Francisco 49ers version of Taylor Swift at this year's Super Bowl. She's married to the 49ers tight end George Kittle, so as football royalty, her ensemble was of the utmost importance. But why did she look like she upcycled a Mylar emergency blanket into a three-piece outfit for the special occasion? This silver pair of pants, bralette, and oversized jacket certainly attracted attention, but the whole look just felt a bit tacky. But the love she showed from the sidelines was, as always, super sweet. I love you. It's so fun to be able to watch him in that moment do what he loves. Blake Lively is often by Taylor Swift's side at important events, so it was no surprise when the ladies hit the Super Bowl together. Lively's ensemble, though, did surprise us. The star is a well-known fashionista, so why did she sport an Adidas tracksuit? The red hue was great for rooting on her best friend's beau, but otherwise we were at a loss. This look would have been better for attending a small Super Bowl party than filling a seat next to Swift at the big game. If we had a best voice list for this year's Super Bowl, Andra Day definitely would have topped it for her pregame performance of Lift Every Voice and Sing. We just wish that day wore something that stood out as much as her voice did. We admit her ensemble wasn't that bad, but the head-to-toe beige was reminiscent of a big rubber glove, and the oversized fit didn't let Day and her beauty stand out. When Post Malone hit the field to perform America the Beautiful before the game, his outfit was certainly inoffensive. That doesn't mean that we didn't have questions, though. The first, why did all of these items not quite seem to fit? The pants were tight and the jacket sleeve seemed too short. And why did he choose this bolo tie? This wasn't the worst outfit of Super Bowl Sunday, but we still can't understand what exactly he was going for. The Super Bowl may be the most important football game of the year, but it's still a football game, so casual dress is more than acceptable. Yet country music star Luke Combs somehow managed to take the casual look too far. The singer may have been supporting the participating teams with his red baseball cap, but this shirt was a much better pick for a hunting excursion than a front and center seat at the Super Bowl. What you wear matters. Uh, it makes people feel something. It makes people realize that you put in effort. Usher at halftime had a saying, yeah, but one of his outfits had a saying, no. Seeing that he took his shirt off mid-performance, it's clear that Usher was eager to show off his abs, and hey, we don't blame him. But why did his final outfit have fake abs carved into it? This glittery blue faux muscle outfit was just bad. But in fairness, with that many costume changes, one miss isn't too bad.